Off to chat and we go for an elite, nationally ranked showdown between major Jersey powers. Max Field Hockey has Oak Knoll as the number five team in America. They meet with an all too familiar foe in number 13 ranked West Essex for a huge midseason tilt. This is top notch field hockey, folks. First quarter, West Essex threatens. Sophia Cisco shoots, but she's denied by Madeline Seth and a stellar kick save. Here comes Oak Knoll on the other end. Off the corner comes the precision passing. Kate Seedham finds Julia Ramsey. She shoots and scores. Ramsey has a team high 11 goals. And that one puts the Royals up 1-0 after the first. Second quarter, West Essex gets going. This pass into the circle, and Oak Knoll is penalized for an intentional handball. Out comes a green card, meaning the Knights get a penalty stroke. West Essex sends out Haley Ashenbach for the shot, and the senior midfielder snipes it. Ooh, that's a huge goal. With 10-16 left in the first half, we're all knotted up at one. The Royals look to retake the lead. Ramsey sends a shot on to goal, but it's denied by Abby Zanelli. It will stay an airtight 1-1 game at the halftime break. Third quarter, Oak Knoll continued to push the throttle. Off the corner comes two shots, and Zanelli makes another save. She had nine on the day. It's still 1-1 going into the fourth quarter. Zanelli's counterpart on the other end, Catherine Sepp, played great too. Here's a save on a rocket of a shot. There's no goals in the fourth quarter, meaning we go into a seven on seven overtime to find a winner. In overtime, the Knights get a golden opportunity. Gianna Puro pushing the ball. She passes across to Kate Lutz, but she can't bury the game winner on an open net. This is a game of inches, and West Essex was that close. Eight minutes now remain in overtime. After a save by Sepp, the Royals regain possession, and it's Julia Ramsey driving the ball up the turf. She's surveying the offensive zone. Ramsey settles in and fires a shot. It's loose, and Morgan Willis knocks in the game winner. Folks, we have a golden goal. Incredible. Oak Knoll takes the number one spot in New Jersey with authority. Two to one is the final in overtime. Morgan Willis is the hero on Wednesday afternoon, and Oak Knoll now has a 51 game unbeaten streak. Just stellar. This victory against a rival was born from weeks of preparation. Yeah, it's, it's one of the things we talk about like nine months ago is, you know, being able to be conditioned and be prepared for these situations. We obviously practice it with, you know, demanding runs and doing that all season, but also practicing situationals like overtime. Um, that is one of the situations we go over. In fact, we went over it this week because we know West Essex is always going to give us a great hard fought game and there's always a chance it's going to go into overtime. I just wanted to keep attacking because I needed this game to be over. I was tired. I needed to the win for my team. And I just wanted to keep pushing it in, so hopefully, hoping that it would go in. Yeah, we had been practicing overtime just because it, it went into overtime last year too. Um, and I think we just had to be ready for everything. Reporting from Chatham, I'm Jay Cook with JerseySportsZone.com.